Hey guys, welcome to another Monday, and the official end of the first week of National Novel Writing Month. So now we're going into our second week. I hope everyone's doing well. I'll talk more about NaNoWriMo later, don't worry. But this week we're talking about plots, and plot development and subplots, more specifically. So for those of you that watch a significant amount of TV, read books, movies, pretty much anything, they all have a similar type of plot. They have their rise and fall and of course they always come to a climax or pinnacle. And to basically give you a quick definition of plot, it is the casual sequence of events and the why things happen. And of course why they matter to the character and just the overall sequence of, sequence of events that make your character who they are in the present time of the story or who they become at the end of the story. So for example, my National Novel Writing Month novel from last year, 2010, had the basic premise of being about a captain and her spaceship, similarly to Malcolm Reynolds and Firefly and Serenity. But Taryn had a different motivation for being the captain that she was, which is ba basically the subplot. The overall plot was that they wanted the king's army that was ruling their universe to not be so imp impeding and blocking people from doing the things that they can do. The king's army always had their hand in anything government related. They ruled planets and the universe. And Taryn and a bunch of other people weren't pleased with that, but there's only so much you can do as one person. So they basically would connect with other people that were striving for the same thing. And basically what happens is Besides wanting to stop the King's Army from, or the King's Alliance, from being the strong hand of the government, you also have the subplot of the motivation of why Terran is even doing any of this, and why is she even the captain in the first place, because it's so few and far between that you get a female captain, so of course, it makes you wonder, how did she become the captain of this ship, and where did she get it in the first place? And that subplot actually carries through pretty significantly because it's something that I made sure was always around. Sometimes subplots can wrap up early in a story, perhaps just after the peak of the story, or just before. And basically, Taryn's entire motivation is based entirely in the past. So every even chapter of last year's novel was a flashback that related to either the previous chapter or to the upcoming chapter. And that way you would kind of see how she became who she was through her childhood and on her home planet. And not to mention how she even met some of the other characters and cast that, that colorful, colored the novel. So basically plot and subplot are always very intertwined because they are sometimes two different things. Certainly you have the King's Army and then you have Terran's motivation in not only fighting the King's Army but in also being who she was as the captain. And then there's potentially other many, many subplots in a novel. Like, for example, last year's also had a slight romance plot, but it was never something to be addressed. It was just kind of there, but way in the background. And there are other plots, too, that have to do with different characters and how they relate to the overall plot. And even if everyone has their own subplot, there's nothing wrong with that. Because creating such a complex plot is basically how you're recreating the world around you. Because everyone as an individual has their own motivations and unique decisions 
that make them who they are and you have to create the world that you're writing to be similar to that to dot it with these colorful people that and characters that have their own lives that you have to be able to recreate and help you move your novel forward. So, real quick, this is the NaNoWriMo corner of my video in which I let you know how I'm doing. Which, let's see, it is Monday. I am at about 11,000 words at this point. And more importantly, I'm actually behind where I was last year because last year I would work and do about four to five thousand a night. And right now I'm doing between two and three thousand, give or take. Because I'm actually focusing more on pacing and I'm trying to make sure that I don't bring this novel to the climax and peak before I even reach fifty thousand. I want to get closer much closer to 50,000 before I even branch into getting to the peak. So I've also been attending a lot of write-ins. I host one on Wednesdays uh, n down the street at the local coffee shop, one of them, and then the one that I also attend on Thursdays at Panera, we mo mostly do word sprints and do plenty of sprinting and competitions in that. There's plenty of prizes. I've already won a keychain. I'm striving for a rubber duck next week. So don't forget to be awesome. I hope you are all having a great Monday. Good luck on more of your novel writing and have a great week.